I'm gonna share some stats with you. Uh, stat number one, 50 million Americans feel the effects of panic attacks and anxiety disorders every year. Stat number two, depression is the world's leading cause of disability. Number three, people in the 20th century were three times more likely to experience depression than people of the preceding generation. Number four, 16.2 million American adults suffer from major depressive disorder, which is one major depressive episode per year. Anxiety and depression is a big deal. And you know what's true about all those, each of those four statistics? That was before a worldwide pandemic hit. That's when those stats were from. Since the worldwide pandemic that has shut down so much around the world and disrupted so much of our lives, some more stats, mental distress has increased by about 700%. Another one, calls to the national suicide hotline have increased by about 600%. Prior to the pandemic, 3% of parents reported experiencing severe distress, 3% of parents. After the pandemic, that 3%, it jumped to 37%. A lot of people feeling stressed anxious, depressed. And if that's you or someone you love, feeling sad, overwhelmed, discouraged, it doesn't necessarily mean you're doing something wrong. In fact, there's one person who can relate pretty well to how you're feeling. Jesus. Jesus can. In the Gospel of Matthew, on Monday, Thursday, the Bible gives us some very descriptive words to describe the emotions that were cycling through Jesus. It says this. It says, Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit here while I pray, while I go over there and pray. And he took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. And then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Sorrowful, troubled, overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. In other words, his emotions were nearly killing him already hours before his crucifixion. And if it would be wrong to feel those things, then of course that would make it a sin. But of course, Jesus never did such a thing. He never sinned. Feeling overwhelmed, feeling sorrowful, it's not an indicator that you're necessarily doing anything wrong. It's just a reminder that we live in the same troubling world that Jesus himself did. A world that has the potential and the ability to have a very powerful effect even on the God that we believe in. That's the kind of world that we live in. And why did it, why did the world inflict that pain on Jesus? Not by accident, but because he chose it. He was sorrowful and overwhelmed, even to the point of death, because he wanted to guarantee that whatever it is that's causing you anxiety, it's not gonna get the best of you in the end. That very next day, he was going to pay the price that was necessary to guarantee you that you will be part of God's family forever and the home where you will be set free from all of your anxiety, from all the things that weigh down your heart, from all the things about you, about which you worry so much. He wants you to know that they're not going to get the best of you in the end. It's not wrong to feel anxiety. Jesus knows it's real. And he wants you to know that he's with you through all of it, all the way to the end.